more countries are announcing travel restrictions in view of the Omicron variant threat and the fact that cases are rising across the world. In India too, specific guidelines now have been listed out for international travel. So the changes include giving details of 14 days of travel as well as an RT-PCR test before the journey on the Air Suida platform. In this video, I'm going to explain to you all of the new norms that have been put in place, they come into effect from December 1st. Now, as per the Health Ministry's guidelines, travellers and passengers from at-risk countries, and there are 12 of them, will have to undergo several steps. This is to ensure protection of every citizen. First is that they will be tested upon arrival as soon as they touch down in India. Now, they'll have to wait at the airport upon their arrival for the result of their test before they can move out to the airport or take a connecting flight. Now, if they test negative, they still have to go through mandatory quarantine. This can be in their home itself. On the eighth day, seven days of quarantine. So on the eighth day, they then have to undergo another RT-PCR test. If they test negative, it still means that for an additional seven days, they have to be cautious and maintain all possible norms. Now, if they test positive, their samples will be sent across to a genome sequencing lab to identify which variant of COVID they have, to identify if it is the Omicron variant or some other variant of COVID. Now, all COVID positive foreign travelers will be kept at an isolated facility and all COVID protocol will be followed, which also includes the procedure of contact tracing. All those who have come in contact with a COVID positive patient, again, will be put in institutional quarantine or home isolation, and they too will have to undergo test after a certain period of time. These are all norms that we followed many months back that's coming back in with this new variant. So these are norms that will be put in place for people who are traveling from 12 at-risk countries. So let me tell you which are these 12 countries. Well, there's South Africa, there's also all of the European nations, the United Kingdom, Brazil, Bangladesh, Botswana, China, Mauritius, New Zealand, Zimbabwe, Singapore, Hong Kong and Israel. China also is in this list and these are the countries where it's been identified that there's a high risk of the Omicron variant cropping up or they've already reported cases of this variant. So from these 12 countries, there are specific rules and guidelines that have been put in place. What if people are traveling from other countries? Well, for 14 days, they'll have to monitor their own health. There's no mandatory quarantine, but the advisory issued is for travelers to monitor their own health and check for any symptoms at all of coronavirus. And if the travelers, of course, develop any symptoms or test positive, they will immediately either be shifted to a facility or will be advised to isolate themselves at home till they get fully OK. The necessary tests will be done to identify what variant of COVID it is. Now, remember that there is also going to be a subsection of travelers from these other countries who will also be tested. Almost 5% of travelers from these countries, according to authorities, will also be tested. This will be based on random sample testing, so anyone can be picked out at the airport and an RT-PCR test will be conducted. Now, besides all of these guidelines, the government is also reviewing the step and the recent announcement of the resumption of all international flights. Now, the announcement was made that uh, all international flights will open up by December 15th. That's going to be relooked and reviewed now.